It's Anson. The other day I was in my local camera shop and came across a bit of a blast from my past. In the junk $5 bin was a toy plastic camera. It was the Time camera. It was a promotional item that Time magazine uh, sent out when you bought some of their Time Life books uh, through TV offers and things like that. My father had bought some of these books had gotten this free promotional camera and gifted it to me. Now, for a young boy, this was kind of a neat thing. Uh, they were larger than some of the Instamatic cameras in the mid-80s at that time. Uh, it took real 35 millimeter film. It looked like a pro camera, and in my hands it felt like a pro camera. Uh, there was no shutter speed select. It had four apertures displayed by cloudy to sunny. Um, and it was just a cheap little camera. I probably only put a couple of rolls of film through it before it broke, and then it almost became a prop for my imagination. When I was little, I had dreams of becoming a photojournalist, and uh, I'm sure, and I do have embarrassing memories of me running around my backyard pretending I'm a photojournalist, taking pictures of things like leaves and my dog, I'm sure. So I'm in this camera shop, and I see this. It's broken the camera in this five dollar bin. I can't get it to work. I I buy it. I take it home. It's hopelessly destroyed within minutes of me trying to fix it. But the memory stayed and now years and years later I'm a father and I thought this might be something fun for my daughters and I to do. Within just a few minutes I found out the manufacturers of the time camera was a company called Levesque and with just a few strokes of my keypad, I was able to buy a brand new in the box from the 80s Levesque LT-002. Now this little guy is almost identical to the time camera, except instead of Levesque here, it would have said time. Uh, it has the same aperture markings from, and now on the, on the right it says from 6 to 16 as far as f-stops. Uh, and then over on the right, it still has the same cloudy to sunny ranges. No, no shutter speed. It's probably about a one one hundredth of a second from what I can gather. Um, on the top, it has the film rewind, and this actually does work. And then on the other side, uh, this is decorative here, this winder, uh, but it does have uh, a counter for the film. Uh, the real wind is on the back right here the shutter boom uh, it just has a simple optical viewfinder and right here is is um, the button to disengage the gears so you can rewind the film uh, on the bottom here it does have a tripod mount and this little guy pull down on it and it opens the back just like that plastic construction very light very cheap uh, little wrist strap that came with it, five ninety nine uh, on eBay, another four dollars to ship it. So I have nine dollars invested in this camera. And those of you who who are um, fans of film photography know where I'm going with this. Holgas are very popular. Dianes are very popular. Dianas, and and I looked at those uh, last year, and I've looked at them. I've never shot with medium format. I did grow up in the 80s and learned um, photography in a dark room and developed my own film and things like that. I had my own dark room in, in high school. Um, I've switched over to digital. I don't have any uh, of my film cameras left uh, aside from this one now. But um, the Holgas can, can now become very, they're very expensive. Uh, for what you get, I think. Um, uh, and this was nine or ten dollars. I haven't um, shot any film through this yet, but um, for brand new in the box, about a ten dollar investment, there's really no reason not to give it a try if you're curious. Get on eBay, um, type in Levesque, plastic cameras, things like that, and you're going to find several of these, both in new condition and uh, slightly used. And, and try it out. I don't know what kind of light leaks this is going to hold for me. Each of these plastic toy cameras are unique. Uh, I'm realistic about that. I went ahead and bought four rolls of film 
so my daughters and I can go out uh, on a day that they have and when it's nice and sunny outside and take some photos with this and get them developed at that same local camera shop and and see what comes out of it I'm excited about it I'm excited to teach them um, a different genre than their phone camera uh, using film slows you down it helps you get creative um, having that limited amount of shutter clicks I think is going to be really interesting for them and I'm real excited about about how they react to it so my next uh, my next video will be of, of either just me or my daughters and I going out and and trying this bad boy out the Levesque LT 002 it's not really a review just more of an announcement of um, something I'm trying and something that I'm really excited about so we'll see you next time